A reading from the first letter of Saint Paul to the Corinthians, chapter two. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit searches everything, even the depth of God. For what human being knows what is truly human, except the human spirit that is within? So also, no one comprehends what is truly God's, except the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit that is from God, so that we may understand the gifts bestowed on us by God. And we speak of these things in words not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual things to those who are spiritual. Those who are unspiritual do not receive. The gifts of God's Spirit, for they are foolishness to them, and they are unable to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. Those who are spiritual discern all things, and they are themselves subject to no one else's scrutiny. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. During this time of the pandemic, we are encouraged to do only essential things for life. These essential things include minimum activities for human survival and socio-economic maintenance. But no countries count religious activities among the essential things. And many religious communities raise their voices against government policies and guidelines, because they think their fundamental religious freedom is infringed and violated. How do you feel about this? Simply speaking, this is a crash of religious freedom and right against the right to life, as civil rights. I think. The right to life has a priority to religious freedom. However, for a faithful, particularly for a Christian, faith comes first before life. Throughout history, we saw many examples of this principle among martyrs, when faith had to be demonstrated through the shedding of blood. Many faithful. Chose to sacrifice their lives without reserve. But here is one thing we need to remember: these martyrs did not fight for civil rights. The martyrs of the church were not civil rights activists. Christians are not a social class; they don't belong to this world. The kingdom of heaven is not of this world, as Jesus says. Christians live here in the world, but do not live for this world. Saint Paul teaches today in his first letter to the Corinthians that Christians have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit that is from God, so that we may understand the gifts bestowed on us by God. The world does not understand the gifts of faith. Only with the gifts of God's Spirit, we can understand them. But if we attempt to insist on these gifts of faith with the principles of this world, in other words, with the logic of rights and freedom, we will miserably fail everyone. Not only in this time. But also all the time, what we Christians strive for is to be faithful to God, not to triumph on religious freedom or rights.